What's up guys? It is Friday, June 7th, 2024. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 846,994. TikTok, next block. As you can see from the title, Donald Trump, he is damned if he does, damned if he doesn't when it comes to America and Bitcoin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the country first, what he should do about his opponents in the country and stuff like that. And then I'll finish it with damned if he does, damned if he doesn't with Bitcoin. So let's talk about his political opponents. I watched uh, Donald Trump on um, Dr. Phil yesterday. And I also watched uh, Abby Phillips on CNN, the Clown News Network, the Crime News Network, the Clinton News Network, the, uh, I mean, the absolute propaganda, um, you know the rest, okay? Abby Phillips, as a, as a black man, to say this about another black woman, it, it, it disheartens me, but I gotta say it. Uh, that woman is completely captured and, she, and she's pure evil, Abby Phillips. You don't know who she is, look her, look her up. Abby Phillips, CNN, the same as the other one. Um, the one that looks like Dylan Mulvaney, Caitlin something or whatever her name is, the one that uh, had the debate with Donald Trump on the uh, when, it, when they did the town hall, because she didn't interview him, she debated him. Anyways, so the reason why I say Donald Trump is damned if he does, damned if he doesn't, because Dr. Phil has been very, very based the last few months, I'd say. And even though he's, I don't know if he leaned left or not, if he was center left or center, I don't know what he was, but he's been talking a lot about, uh, you know, doing all these political attacks on Donald Trump. Because if you're just being objective and you're just being fair and not looking at it from a left-wing perspective, and you, you know, not that you hate Donald Trump or you love Joe Biden. I mean, you just look at it as a, and it's hard to do that in today's, uh, <laughs> in today's political um, situation, but just look at it objectively and say, okay, look at what they're doing to Biden or not doing to Biden and look at what, do what they're doing to Trump and the timing of it, right? And Dr. Phil's been coming out and he's been talking about the border and he's been talking about a lot of stuff, but he asked Donald Trump in that interview, if you haven't seen it, watch the interview, it's a really good one. He asked him, you know, you know, don't you think enough is enough? And, you know, don't you think it's bad that and he acknowledged, Dr. Phil acknowledged that Trump has been basically... He didn't say politically prosecuted, but he basically said they've been trying to do everything they can and been throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you, uh, Mr. President. And, you know, Dr. of course, Donald Trump uh, agreed. And he was basically saying, hey, um, this is bad for the country. Um, and Dr. Phil was like, this is tick for tat, because now when you go into office, you know, what are you going to do when it gets you, you get in? Are you going to, you know, try to you know, get your political opponents and get revenge and just do this tick for tack thing and go back and forth, back and forth. So let me give you my thoughts on this, right? Should Donald Trump get into office when he gets, let's just say, again, I don't think he's, I've, I put a low percentage chance that he'll be in the in office. And again, I've said it uh, uh, numerous times because of all the things that they're doing to him. I just don't see him in office. And again, I pray to God that I'm wrong. And I'm being a pessimist right now. So I don't get my feelings hurt and get let down. I'm just being honest with you, but I still donate to him every single day, by the way, me saying that, okay? I know he's get, he gets millions and millions of dollars, but I still donate to him. So let me give you my thoughts. What should Donald Trump do? The reason why I say he's damned if he does and damned if he doesn't, let's start with the does part. The reason why he's, he's damned if he does, let's just say he goes in there and he's not going in there as a, um, as political revenge mind you but he's actually going in there looking at the crimes that uh more than likely happened and again i'm all about uh doing uh, uh doing research and doing investigations the right way and i'm also uh a big proponent on what the constitution and the founding fathers wanted our judicial system to be like the real judicial system not the one we have today due process and also you are innocent before proven guilty right so i'm not going to sit here and say these people that are doing all this stuff to donald trump are guilty because they have to have due process and i'm all for that right even even oj simpson had to do due process i don't care who you are this is the way our, our country is supposed to work but again with donald trump he's guilty until proven innocent and we know that if he goes in there and let's just say he goes, you know what, let's let's see what happened with the J6ers and what really happened that day. Or let's go in here and let's see 
uh, what the, you know, the three letter agencies are doing. Now, let's see what's going on at the border and Secretary Mayorkas. And let's see what really happened with Brandon and his son and the laptop and what happened over there in uh, Ukraine and all these things. I mean, it's just, I, I could sit here and literally make a 20 minute video naming the stuff that they could, they could be uh, allegedly doing, okay? Let's say he goes in there and does that. Because we already know, no matter what Donald Trump does, the uh, propagandist state-sponsored media, which are all of the three-letter medias, ABC, CNN, ABC, CBS, CBS, NBC, CNN, and of course, MSDNC, and more, are all against Donald Trump. All of them. So even if he doesn't say anything, he does everything that's best for America, and he, he goes in there and and, and, and it's, it's purring like a kitten, just a nice guy and stuff like that. They're still going to attack him. But if he goes in there and does anything, anything to pr to prosecute or, you know, bring up allegations against uh, any of these people on the left side of the aisle or anybody in the Uniparty, too, by the way, because there's a lot of people with an R by their name that works with, with these uh, these sinister people. What are they going to say? What 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 are these media outlets are going to say oh he's just doing it because of this because right now in these last three years and almost four years now with joe biden none of that stuff's happening according to the mainstream media there's not political attacks this is not uh joe biden trying to you know jail his political opponent or keep him off the keep him off the campaign trail no all these all these court cases you know, him being in there for six weeks and him getting 34 counts of felonies. That's just, hey, because he's a criminal. He said Donald Trump shouldn't have did it. It has nothing to do with weaponizing the uh, the, the uh, DOJ or the DOIJ, Department of Injustice. You know, Biden does nothing wrong. It's nothing like that. But as soon as Trump files uh, any kind of allegations or any kind of anything against any of these people what are they going to say oh look see he told you he's blah 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 look look what he's doing we told you because right now what they're doing right now is they can't talk about the actual policies of joe biden they can't because he doesn't have any i mean literally donald trump and every single policy in america major uh, policy he's got him beat and everything so they can't talk about obviously the policy for policy and compare it they have to scaremonger everybody the dumb people into thinking that donald trump is a uh is an insurrectionist he's a dictator he's evil uh he's gonna lock up all his political opponents he's gonna turn uh america into uh, a banana republic isn't it funny how the people that actually are doing this stuff they're actually doing it at the moment are gonna say the guy that is not in office and is getting prosecuted and going through all this stuff is gonna be the one that's gonna do it the hypocrisy is so thick you can cut it with a knife so he da he's damned if he does that. He is damned, 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 right? Because it's going to be a hell of a fight because they're going to do everything they can to get him out of office anyway. So that doesn't matter if he does it or not. But they're really going to try to get him out of office if he uh, does that, including the Uniparty, by the way. So he's damned if he does. But if he he's damned if he doesn't because guess what the Democrats are, are, are doing right now and the Uniparty? They're emboldened because they did all this stuff. And if Donald Trump doesn't go in there and prosecute anybody or bring up file any charges, guess what they're going to do? Well, shit, we, we got away with it the first time. Let's keep on doing it. Because a lot of these Republicans, not you specifically, or specifically, not you Republicans. I'm talking about the Republicans in Congress. A lot of these guys are nice guys, man, <laughs> and, nice, and nice gals. They're very conservative, Christians, church-going people. Uh, a lot of them are snakes in the grass and swamp creatures, of course. And there are a few freedom fighters. But a lot of these people don't want any trouble with the Democrats. Because they know if they fight against the Democrats, these Republicans, these weak Republicans I'm talking about, in Congress, the House and the Senate, they know that any little dirt they have on them or any kind of bill they want passed or anything that happens with their campaign funds or the people that they're that's uh, giving them money or something like that, it's going to be a lot of trouble for them. They don't want trouble, man. They'll vote 80% of, you know, just some little stuff here. But when it comes to really getting into the things that they... <laughs> the Uniparty and the Democrats want, let's just say uh, uh, the wind blows a little hard or can blow a little soft on these people and they'll fall right over. The Republican Party overall is weak and there are some strong people. And this is why they never prosecute any of the Democrats. Look at Jamal Bowman, the black dude from New York, when he uh, he literally pulled a fire alarm during a, during a 
session, a congressional session in the House of Representatives. He pulled it on purpose. He knocked the emergency sign down, saying, don't, don't do this. He knocked it down, pulled it, knocked it down. He was on camera and he stopped the meeting in the, in the I think it was the uh, debt ceiling bill, I believe, I think it was. They were voting on something. He wanted it to stop. So he did that on purpose. And what happened? <laughs> he lied and said he didn't do it. Flat out lied. Then the, then the, um, then the tapes come out, show him when he, when he does. Guess what he got? He got a letter, a strong written letter by the Republicans and a slap, and even a less slap, a powerless slap on the, on the wrist. It's like, this is why I cannot be a Republican, man. I, I just cannot uh, go with weakness, man. I just can't do it. You know what I mean? They're just too weak for me. And so when you're letting these people, but they they uh, prosecuted, the Republicans prosecuted the guy in their uh, party. You know, the what was that dude's name? The gay guy, the crazy dude. He shouldn't have been in Congress anyway. I don't even know how he got, you know, the glasses. He was a liar and all this other stuff. They went harder after him than they did Jamal Bowman. And that is like shooting yourself in the foot. And again, he shouldn't have been in the first place. And I know he did a lot of stuff wrong. But before they even took him to trial or anything or had him get him a fair hearing, they kicked him out of the Senate, basically shooting, the, I mean, the House, shooting themselves in the foot and lost one less <laughs> One less Republican in a Democratic district, by the way. And guess what they did? They voted in a freaking Democrat. And now they have, that's like losing two. You lost one seat and the, and the Democrats gained one. Republicans are so stupid, man. <laughs> Anyways, oh my God, I can just go on and on and on about that. So if he doesn't do anything, Donald Trump, he's damned. Because the Democrats are just going to keep throwing things at him. And, and if he does say, you know what, F this. It's not about revenge. It's about the rule of law maintaining and upholding uh the constitution let's do this they're gonna freaking attack him so again he's damned if he does damned if he doesn't man so i'll get in more to that you know and again these are all hypotheticals because i don't think donald trump is unfortunately going to be in in the office man I, I wish i was wrong about that and i hope i'm wrong about that but we'll see now let me tell you about where he's damned if he does damned if he doesn't with bitcoin because this video is getting long sorry <clears throat> They got 180,000, between 180,000 and 210,000 Bitcoin on the balance sheet. What I think Donald Trump should do is get some Bitcoiners in his uh, Oval Office or before he gets in and have them say, OK, what's up with this Bitcoin thing? Now, you know, I've been doing all these talking points about self-custody with Bitcoin. Nobody's going to touch it. Warren, uh, Elizabeth Warren and her goons are not going to message your stuff. Self-custody. Uh, this and that, CBDCs. All right, somebody really break this thing down for me. And I want him to take some classes and really have a, an expert, maybe like a, who would I have? Uh, Michael Michael Saylor, Jack Maulers, you know, the top Bitcoin people, not crypto. I'm talking about Bitcoin. You know, crypto can do what they want. Let them do what they want with crypto. Because again, I'm all about free market. Let them do it. But really concentrate on Bitcoin and have the top. And he needs to have somebody in, in the Libertarian Party and Michael Saylor, somebody on his cabinet, to really talk to him about Bitcoin and, listen, and say, listen, uh, sir, uh, you know, I know you want to protect the dollar and everything else, but I think we really need to focus on the Bitcoin that we have. And I think we need to print some money to get some more. And here's why. It's this, it's this, um, it's this scarce. There's only this many. Um, this is the price now. By then, it might be 180000 in January 2025. Who knows? Who knows what it'll be by then? 150, 100, who, who knows? It's going to be 100 something. If it didn't crash already and have somebody really break it down for them and say, wow, OK, I'm not saying you got to print money to get it, but it start focusing a lot of their funds on uh, putting not only Bitcoin on the balance sheet, but making a peaceful transition over uh, not to kill the dollar. Right. Because the dollar's going to die anyway. It's just a death. It's a death by a thousand cuts. But uh, because, again, Donald Trump is going to be blamed for all the stuff and the mess that Joe Biden has been doing these last three and a half years. And by the way, Donald Trump is not uh, an innocent victim on this, too. He borrowed and printed uh, well over seven, seven trillion dollars. So, again, I don't think he'll do that again, but he, he is a culprit of that. And a lot of the uh, inflation we are, are receiving is from him. And I, and I got to be fair about that guy. Sorry. But he needs to have somebody go in there and tell him what to do and get it on the balance sheet and all that other stuff, right? He needs to do that, right? But if he does do that, he's damned. Well, if he doesn't do that, the dollar's gonna crash and he's gonna, he's gonna, um, 
you know, suffer all the, oh, look at the economy, because now all of a sudden the economy's terrible now. Right now it's terrible, but it's not going to be terrible. Excuse me. Right now, we all know the economy is terrible, right? We know that. But the mainstream media and the propagandists are telling us that the <laughs> that the, the economy is okay. They lie to us. What we're feeling and how's the how's out of control? Oh no, that's that's nothing. That's that's great. But as soon as Donald Trump takes the chair, all look at the inflation, look at the housing price, look at the food. They're all gonna focus on that and blame it on Donald Trump. They, they just are gonna do that. You know that. So he's gonna get all that blame, but he needs to go over and say, you know what? We need to slowly but surely over a uh, 15 to 20 year period, we need to start going ahead and being the leader and the pioneers of, uh, of Bitcoin. And uh, even bring in uh, uh, Bukele from uh, <laughs> from uh, El Salvador and, and uh, see what he's doing down there, man. You, you know, including with the crime and stuff too. And seeing how they're doing on their balance sheet. But again, with America at a much, much higher level. Uh, he's If he doesn't do it, and again, uh, he's going to be blamed for all of the inflation, everything that's going on. So he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. And what if he does, what are they going to say? Because nobody understands Bitcoin. They're going to say, look what Donald Trump's doing. He's trying to kill the dollar and blah, blah. He told them to show a bunch of videos of him and clips of him showing, we need to protect the dollar when he was saying it back in 16, 17, 18. CNN's going to run with that MSDNC. are going to say all that stuff, which is true. He did say that, but we all changed. Donald Trump also said uh, he doesn't like Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, but again, uh, you can't change Bitcoin, even with the orange man, Bitcoin will change you. So he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. If he doesn't do it, uh, the dollar's going to die, and it's gonna, inflation's going to be crazy. He can't stop inflation, and he can slow it down again with the uh, opening up the pipelines and stuff like that, and that'll help. But uh, inflation is inflation. They have to print money because we have a, a surplus of debt coming in versus the money, or the debt going out versus the money coming in and also our debt is over uh, a trillion dollars just in, in uh, interest alone. And again, uh, some of that was him, but most of that was Brandon. So he's damned if he does, damned if he does. Damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. If he, if he prosecutes the uh, the Democrats and the Uniparty, and if he uh, goes with Bitcoin or doesn't go with Bitcoin, he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And again, guys, uh, I don't want you to be in a position if you're damned if you do damned if you don't because i'm gonna tell you something you're not you're not in that position uh there ain't no damned if you do damned if you don't with you okay i'm gonna tell you this right now my personal opinion based on my studies um you're not gonna be damned if you do if you do this if you put your money and your energy into this asset um <laughs> you're gonna reap the rewards but you're gonna be damned if you don't put your money into and say it with me the best way to save and for me, the only way to save. And that's Bitcoin. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love, guys.